Well, tonight, community leaders in the Hilltop area are working hard to get kids off the street so they don't become another statistic. 10 TV's Ashley Bernanson spoke with a number of those leaders today. Ashley, what's the main mission in the area to get teens away from violence? Well, Yolanda Lindsay, Hilltop community leaders tell me there's a major lack of facilities for kids to turn to, which is leading many of them to the gangs, violence and crime. But one local nonprofit found a way to get kids off the street by getting them onto the field. It's nothing new, it's normal. I mean, we've, we've grew up around that environment. Siat Mohammed is now all grown up, 24 years old. He coaches soccer for a nonprofit called My Project USA. He says he grew up in the Hilltop community where violence, gangs, and crime was the norm. What wasn't? Everybody was taking this path, and I was telling myself, you know what? You know, I'm not going to be part of the statistic. I'm not going to take a negative route. Turning to no, a I'm path less taken. At just 17 years old, Mohammed had a vision to use the sport he loved to change the lives of kids on the hilltop. What we do is we use the love of the sport and then uh, we tie it with everything else. A vision that became a reality. Hilltop Tigers! Known as his team, the Hilltop Tigers. Thanks to My Project USA. It may start with soccer, but it doesn't stop there. They are required to be in the tutoring classes. They are required to be in Reading Warrior. High school youth are required to maintain their 3.5 GPA. And they have no excuse of not keeping it because we provide them free tutoring service. Zerka Abed is the founder and executive director of My Project USA. She says with over 150 kids in the soccer program, the center focuses on providing kids a safe haven to keep them off the streets. It's infested, literally infested with drug dealers and pimps and gangs, gangsters in this neighborhood. So children are easy prey for them. Abid says the children coming from impoverished homes are especially susceptible. Offering them a good meal, offering them something, a couple, you know, hundred cash dollars for passing drugs to here to there is, is very easy to lure these children into it. The center's food pantry services thousands of families on a weekly basis. Just last year, the center served over 40,000 people between their food pantry and services. And as for soccer... Four of our teams are champions in Central Ohio right now. The Ten of them are playing in Ohio Premier Soccer Club. A game that has turned kids into champions. Dedicated to my friends that I've lost, you know, growing up. And if everybody's just turning to violence, then who's going to be that person that's going to take a different route? Abed and Mohammed tell me that any child or teen in the area who needs an outlet is welcome to head over to that center. I'll have those details at 10tv.com.